So, which one? I want to go. I to go to work today. I'll go. Please, me never picks you. Just come on. He never picks you. Please pick me. Please pick me. He never picks you. Come on, pick me. Come back over here. Come on, not him. Please, not him. No, no, no. Don't pick him. No. Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara's already left for work, and we're about to leave right now. Just gonna give this guy a strapping before we leave. Hopefully he's ready. Oh, I'm ready. Because planning on not I'm using ready. any other Let's knife but him today. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm telling you, we're gonna have such a good time today. Such a good time. All right, it's go time. All right, guys, so I obviously couldn't record everything I did at work, but I basically took little clips and sh you know showed a lot of the cuts or a few of the cuts that I did, like a small portion like this right here. I did about 600 of these throughout the day. And you know, I'm just basically showing you, you know, these are straps. These are actually the small straps we cut. The big straps are, are far thicker. They actually have a fiber that runs through the middle of them. These ones are basically all plastic. But we use these to strap the boxes um, closed. And then we have different size boxes. This is the small box. And we fill it with, it's like a straw, but it's basically just like a wood fiber that are made into a straw. And like I said, this is a small box, only three bottles put into here. And then, you know, a lid goes on top of this. And then here's a big box. This one, six bottles goes into. And they're different kinds from bourbon, different kinds of bourbon, uh, gin, cognac, stuff like that. There's the lid that goes on the big box. And this would get strapped after. I'll show you the strap in here in just a moment. Here's me strapping one of the small boxes, and then you see the pallet in the background. That uh, we'll get many layers. And so that strap that I, that you see me wrapping around, that's what I cut. And it's two per box, and then we also wrap the whole pallet after it's full with about five straps, five to six straps, depending. I actually recorded a lot more clips that I didn't put in this video because I just felt like it just, you know, went on a little too long and kind of got boring. But I did add a lot of different clips in this video, so hopefully it's a, at least a little bit entertaining.
Now here you see the palette growing as time went on, and then you'll see a few of them together. And now I'm cutting the foam inserts here that we use at the bottom of the boxes and on the top of the lid. And this is, uh, sometimes we get them uh, mostly pre-cut and then I just gotta cut them into smaller sections, but then other times we get rolls and I gotta cut strips. Now this is not what I do every single day. Um, I do a different variety. So one day I might be doing this and another day my cuts are 100% different. So it's not like this is, you know, what I do every day, all day. These are just some days, every day is a different type of work. And every day I use my knife and for the majority of the day, it's just in a different way. So some days I might be, you know, cutting tons of cardboard and very little straps. And then other days I might be, you know, just cutting straps to, to take things apart and break things down. And, you know, they might be the big giant straps. It all just depends. Every day is a completely different than the last. And then a lot of days we, we fill. So, like the day before this, I was, um, I had to uh, take the tops off of the bottles. They were uh, too big. The bottles were too big, and we had to basically turn the big bottles into small bottles. So, we had to remove the plastic off of all the bottles, which meant we, you know, to get the plastic off, you know, it was like a little cut, but the, the edge basically drags against glass and every cut and that was a lot of cuts by the end of the day your your edge is just just damaged all the hell i try not to do use my good knives for that i try to use like real beater knives for that type of stuff so i do always bring you know a couple beater knives and here i got uh, a couple bags of cardboard from boxes we had to break down there's two extra large bags sitting right here and they're completely filled to the to the brim and sometimes we just bring this stuff out to the dumpster you know for the recycling and just cut it up right there other times you know we just throw it in there it all depends but you know by the end of the week our dumpster is filled to the to the rim i mean it's just it's overfilled so we got to make sure we cut it down a lot of times and make sure it fits This is one of the rolls that I'm using to, uh, to make strips and make little squares out of. Like I said, we don't always use these big rolls. Sometimes we, ha we buy boxes of pre-cut squares where we still have to cut them. They're just, I don't have to uh, do as many cuts, but a lot of times I do have to use these rolls. So it just depends. And you'll see throughout this video, I went from wearing a coat to wearing a light uh, long sleeve to wearing a sweater. It, you know, the temperature just changes, you know, as you move, you start moving or when you're slowing down, you know, it can get cold in there. So I like to bring extra layers and, you know, switch, you know, depending on the temperature or depending on how hot I'm getting. These are the squares that I'm cutting out right here. Now, half of these I'm gonna have to cut in half again, and then the other half gets used, you know, the size that it is. But at least half of these I'll have to cut one more time. You know, basically cut them directly in half.
and you see there I'm cutting three at a time so it's nice having a long blade when I'm doing these cuts because obviously the shorter the blade it's not going to make it through so having a nice long blade definitely is a huge benefit to being able to cut more at a time Here I'm just breaking down a uh, couple pieces of cardboard for the garbage can. These didn't even go into recycling. I just didn't want to fill this garbage bag up too much. And it wasn't that much left for the recycling. We always have a ton of recycling. Like this is just normal boxes that you see here that are eventually all going to end up getting cut up or used. And then here I'm cleaning my knife off. Gotta clean it off from the glue and just sticky stuff that's on there. You know, there were a lot of cuts that I had to make that I wasn't able to get in the video. It's not like I could just spend all day recording, so. This is me back home now. I try to cut up most of the recycling daily, or at least every couple of days, because otherwise, I'll spend a couple hours cutting up recycling at the end of the week. And even if I do cut up some, you know, daily or every other day, I still have a whole bunch to cut up at the end of the week to make sure it fits in the recycling bin. Obviously, some weeks are, are you know, more than others, but this, this recycling bin is always filled to the max. So... I gotta cut it up and you know break it down so that it all fits. Otherwise, we just have you know a wave of cardboard. So I try to break it down daily. I'm not always good with that though, and then I wind up having to to cut it up at the end of the week anyways, and it just takes more time. So. All right, it's the end of the day, and my knife needs some honing. I cleaned off the blade already. I actually had to clean it off a couple times. I didn't get to record every time I cleaned it off. I carry a knife wipe with me, so I'll try to keep it pretty clean as I go along. And it did get really sticky, and now we're just going to hone it back and see if we can get the edge to come back, because it does have quite a bit of wear Obviously, there were hundreds of cuts I could not get on camera. You know, I can't just sit there and film all day while I'm at work. I got a little bit, and then I was able to kind of, you know, look at what I had and, you know, got to tell you guys what it did. I can tell this side is uh, catching a little bit on the stone right there. But it feels like it's going to hone back up. I might wind up having to do a full edge on this thing because I recorded a full sharpening of this thing on the Veneev Diamond Stones. And I did not, I edited it. I did everything. Took me hours to do the video and I didn't like it. So I'm not, I'm just erasing it and I'm going to redo it. Maybe I'll do it on a different knife. I don't know. We'll see how this edge still looks afterwards. Because I did, you know, I've been using it, so. Alright, let's use, I'm going to use this strop right now because my other strop needs to be cleaned. But yeah, day in the life of a knife. Oh, yeah, that brought the edge right back. Eh. I feel a little hiccup right there. It's very subtle, though. Let's cut a piece of paper. How about some newspaper? Give you some reading while we're uh, cutting. It's all crinkled up, too. Yeah. 
Very nice. So the edge is back, good enough for right now. Like I said, I might do a whole new edge on it. I'm not sure because this is still a, a, a great edge. At least it's back to a great edge because it did have a bunch of hiccups or a bunch of like spots all through here. Feels good now though, not bad. There you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.